Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel that loves a challenge. I'm your host Zonavox. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. I am doing pretty <laughs> myself. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, make sure to like, sub, share, follow. All of that good stuff helps the channel grow. Hit that notification bell so you're in the know. Leave your comments down below. Tell your friends. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get started here momentarily. Um, stand by while I go ahead and finish up my checks and everything. And we will be back shortly. All right, looks like we are all checked on here. Hello, Demon Pumpkin. Sup, Azo the Great, your best streamer. <laughs> I beg to differ on that one. I'm pretty garbage at keeping my schedule. You know, I don't always show up on time. <laughs> Hello, Arthur. How you doing today? I wouldn't say I'm the best streamer. I'm just a streamer who interacts with people. And that makes, that makes all the difference. All right, let's go ahead and... Crack this thing open. Let RetroArch take its 1,800 minutes to go out and open. How's everybody doing today? I am still feeling ick. But I'll be alright. It's mainly just intestinal issues. More than anything else. Yeah. Hello, Simone. How are you today? So I'm thinking what we'll do... Let's see, we have three badges in. We're doing our grind for Morty. Morty should be... Morty will be fast once we finish Morty. But until then, it's going to be a little slow getting our grind done. We don't get any of the good stuff. Um... From there, we're going to be heading off to Olivine, which means we're going to have to deal with the tower, then go across the ocean. So we're going to have a secondary grind coming up here. Depending on what we get in the grass, if we get ourselves a milk tank, that would be nice. You've never played Extinction? Um, Extinction is an interesting map, but once again, the reason why I always suggest the island is because it's going to teach you the basics if you learn the basics and you want to deal with some of the other stuff, um, I suggest spending at least a month on every map to get a feel for it. Scorched Earth te teaches you how to deal with the environment. Aberration teaches you how to deal with limited resources and zoning. And Extinction is how to deal with large amounts of creatures and breeding. So... Mass breeding and mass creature control. Alright. I forgot I should skip this. <laughs> Alright, continuing on. Yeah, we just gotta grind through here. Um, Greg could possibly take it, but I'm not like... I don't want to risk it. Gamble Man, I think, really needs the up. Thwippy, we just gotta hold on to because we need Cutmon. Walter is great. In Genesis 2, you just got a Quetzal? Nice. Congratulations. Quetzals are pretty... pretty Quetzal. Imagine if we lived in a world where we could have pet Dodos. Don't worry, we're not that far away. Huh? We're not that far away. And besides, like, Dodos only went extinct 500 years ago. It's not like we're that far removed. There's literal human... There's, like, literal documentation about the Dodos out there, written by people, and their encounters with Dodos. So, we're not... We're not that far off. Like, it's... 
we're we're close enough to the dodo extinction that we could possibly clone dodos. Just to just to put that out there, it is possible we could clone a dodo because their DNA is still available to us. And snow owls, yeah, Genesis Two has pretty much everything. So, um, if you're looking to like play stuff, Genesis Two, you'll always be my number one fan. I think you're gonna be my number two fan because my number one fan is Luft. <laughs> And I don't know, Van shows up, Van shows up here, like, literally every day. I don't know, you, you'd be hard-pressed to go ahead and, uh, you wa- you watched me grow up? How old do you fucking think I am? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? You watched my channel go ahead and, and birth itself into existence? Love those little guys, the fact that they were overhunted makes you sad. Well, don't worry. Um, there are plans to bring back the dodo. They're looking for a viable species that they can they can mix, so that way they can have it lay dodo eggs and possibly get a dodo insert other bird hybrid. So, yeah, the possibility is there that we may have dodo soon. As a streamer, yep. Yep, you have been here for quite a bit of it. We'll just side beam it. Uh, I think that is about enough for Gamble Man there. Put Walter up front. Slam on the birds. Come on and slam. Walter's got a ham. Might be able to surf it down. Nope. Almost. Okay, so we can surf down some of these Stantlers. Yep, I do. I went for Kenya. So Kenya on Route 35 gave me the option to have a Spiro. I don't really need it for anything other than fly, to be perfectly honest. But it at least takes Spiros out of the uh, out of the equation. Get 26 and that'll be that'll be good enough. What's my favorite boss fight in Ark? Um You said the Rockwell was yours? Yeah, but Ab was also the first Rockwell fight. The one with the Reapers and everything. Uh, me, personally, I I am very partial to the Extinction King. It took a lot of prep time to get ready for. Um, and it was, a, it, it was, like, done in no time. I think Beta Extinction King was something that I felt so compelled to prepare for. Like, it's, it's left the biggest impression out of all the boss fights, in my opinion. Um, I think that Genesis 2 was a very infuriating boss, or Genesis 1 was an infuriating boss fight. Um, just because everything could go wrong constantly at any point during the boss fight, during Phase 1, during Phase 2, uh, at any point things constantly getting caught on fire. Like, you end up losing a lot of your mon. Like, Genesis 1's boss fight was infuriatingly difficult. I think Extinction's boss fight is fun, but requires a lot of prep time. Uh, mainly, I think it's fun because you have to have a bunch of people. If you can get the whole server together, like, or everybody fighting it together, Extinction's boss fight is phenomenal. It's funny, the kid that gave you the shuckle talks about being robbed, and then you proceed to rob him. 
I don't know. I think he gives it to you for, uh, for safekeeping. I think he's like, oh no, the boy will come back and take my shuckle away. Please, take my shuckle away. I think that's more what he's doing. If you have my shucky, no one else can have my shucky. I kind of picture him having the berries and cream voice kid. I don't know if anybody even knows what the hell that is anymore, but... What are you fee about over there? Ah, okay. All I heard over there was fee fee-fer, and I'm like, what is she... I know you did. I was just saying. It sounded like it to me. Alright, so... We really just need to get Gamble Man up. And I think what we'll do is probably side-beam our way through it. That way we don't waste any, uh, any extra time here. And then if you say no, he'll be like, but that's my Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, I always tell him no. I, I don't have any interest in his Shuckle. If Shuckle could make potions, I would be all about it, but it doesn't. It makes, like, berry juice or whatever it is, which is not good enough. Freaking quick attack dudes. punch a bird in the face. Man, I would use rare candies into the level cap instead of grinding. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people would. Everybody who comes in here who talks about, uh, who talks about having done Nuzlocks before, they all say, why don't you just hack into Rare Candies? And my response is, I don't want to. <laughs> I feel like it, it, if you're just hacking in Rare Candies, then what's the point of the game? Like, you cut out two-thirds of the gameplay by hacking in a Rare Candy. Are you doing a speedrun, or are you playing the game? Because, like, grinding is, like, it's such a huge portion of the game. It makes no sense to cut out the grind, because then you don't have any game. Then it just turns into, let's go ahead and fight a Pokemon. You, most streamers do that? Most streamers have done multiple Nuzlocks, and this is my first one. And I'm sure that whatever other streamers are doing works fine for them, uh, but it's, it's not how I want to run it. Yeah, like, to me, speeding up the fights is already cheaty enough in my opinion, but, like, just leveling it to the cap, it just... There's no point in playing the game. Go play an RPG if you want... if you want to do something like that. That's all. Just my opinion, but... Yeah, this thing's gonna get wrecked a couple times is my problem here. Bites strong, but not exactly what I would consider strong enough. Big Haunter. 
The problem is gold and silver's haunters and stuff are really dumb, but like, once you get into crystal, they're very smart. What do we get rid of? Scratch. At this point. We're only pretty much using bite. Alright, before we get into this fight, we have a couple things we need to do. Um, we need to... We'll heal, get myself some awakenings. It's Greg's breakfast. I guess he likes the taste of ghosts. Yeah, that's true. Greg likes biting inanimate objects. Intangible objects. Greg likes sinking his teeth into philosophical concepts like La Ghost. Um, I should have a few awakenings, I think. Let me take a look. Uh, confusion... Poison Cure... Revives, Paralysis, Iceberry, Awakenings. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've got Awakenings on me, we're good. Oh man, I missed the opportunity to call him Old Greg. But somebody did... Simone, you wanted to name him Greg, so I guess I couldn't have named him. Uh, Dodicarus nearly hurt a Bronto? Hey, I mean, a Dodicarus can do some damage to a Bronto. Just, you know, not great damage. Personally, like, I always feel like a Megatherium with the Bug Zerker buff on it is gonna do more damage. Huh. Do most things. Uh, here we are. It's time to do it. We're gonna hope for the best here. Because that thing right there, oh god. Right there is the problem. We're gonna awaken it because I know what'll happen otherwise if we don't. Yeah, that fucking Dream Eater, you fucking thought. You bastard. Oh my god. Is this gonna happen again? Is this gonna happen again? Is this what's happening? It's okay. I have I have backup plans for this in case this time. Mean look. I can't escape. <sighs> you son of a bitch. That's right, it didn't fucking affect me. That's that's bullshit that you can keep doing that constantly. That's such bullshit. Hold on, hold on. I know how we can do this. Oh, right, I can't. Bro turned on the hacks? Yeah, just like last time. Just like last time, it was pretty bad. Fuck. Now we're in trouble. This is where the trouble starts, right here. Morty isn't allowed to have Vestrevious. Good question. Good question. Probably because of bullshit like this. Because if I had Mistrevious, I'm pretty sure it would be worse. There it is! We've lost our starter! Alright. Say goodbye to our starter. Died to a shadow ball. All right. Um, 
this Gengar hate. Yeah, that Gengar is pretty nasty. Um, die to Shadow Ball by Morty Gengar. Uh, all right, He's about to use Haunter. Now we won't change. Hello, Francisco. Sorry I didn't see you the first time I was, um, having my Pokemon die. It's okay, at this point, this is, this is basically where he stopped being useful. So... It's all good. He, he did, he lived the best that he needed to. Only way I beat, it was Happy the uh, Quagsire and Puppy the Eevee. Because you would trick it. What, you would just constantly switch it back? Alright. Let's make sure it has nothing on it. Nothing on it. Good stuff. Alright. Let's, uh... Goodbye, everybody say your goodbyes to Greg here. I guess this does kind of open up some of our our options here. Goodbye, Greg. Happen to have Sunshine the Bay Leaf to use its powder moves. What did you miss? Um, I'll give you one clue based off what I literally just did. Um, we don't really need ground and poison, so that's fine. Um, flying's already taken care of. I think our best bet... Goodbye, Greg. It's not your fault, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I think our best bet is going to be... To fill our thing with a uh, with brain damage for now. Did you know that for Sonic 3, Keanu Reeves is playing Sonic the Hedgehog? I have heard the news from various sources. Greg is too easy to be replaced. It's already replaced. I mean. I already knew, like, it was gonna go in the box pretty much after this anyway, so... It's not a big loss, it's just an unfortunate one. It it served its purpose here, where it needed to. Now we just have to kinda... get the rest of the team on board. Um, let me see what we have. I think the next area we're going to is 38. I believe 38 and 39 have near identical Pokemon. Let's see, Generation 2, uh, during the daytime, Pidgeotos, Raditas, Radicates, Meowth. Uh, I wouldn't like a Meowth, but, I mean, if I get one, it is what it is. Um, Magnemite, a Magnemite again wouldn't be bad. Now that I know how cool Magnemite is, I'm okay with that. 5% Milk Tank by 4% Tauros, 10% Farfetch'd, but a 30% Meowth. Let me check Route 39, which I believe has identical stats. Meowth, Magnemite, Farfetch'd. Okay. So yeah, if I if I end up catching a Meowth 
on one, I guess that's okay. It's better if I do it during the day than if I wait for it. Um, actually, let's go ahead and pull up Rocky. I don't know if What's-His-Name is going to come at me um, from the Burnt Tower or not, or if I have to go hit Burnt Tower first. I don't think it's a requirement, but let me check real quick. Um... No, it's not really a requirement, but we'll see. We can avoid going to Burnt Tower and then not have to face our rival at all. So this is Route 38, I believe. Let's see how many balls we have on us. Two pokies, eight greats. I think that's good. Raticate. We've already got a Ratata, so it doesn't matter. Let's see how much damage or attack will do. Okay, not terrible. You once found a roaming Entei on this route? Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that must have been pretty lucky considering that you unleash him right beforehand. Can bananas go on pizza? I mean, I suppose, to each their own. Huh? If you're brave enough. Let's see, what could I use on this thing that wouldn't hurt it? You feel what? Yeah, let's go with Thwip. Thwip should be able to do some damage without hurting it too bad. We'll put it to... We'll hit it with, uh, Sleep Powder. You meant Pineapple? That's very different than... Oh! No! Ananas. Other oh. languages. Other languages use Ananas, not no. Pineapples. I mean, to each their own. I'm not gonna judge people for doing it. Does it? I didn't know that. That's what the Mr. Ramsey said. I see. You believe Mr. Ramsey? The food man himself, yeah. Why would you believe him? He doesn't like a live rat. Come on. Hit it with the powder. There we go. Alright, now we'll go ahead and get the uh, Pokeball in on it. So, Route 38, this will be good if we get this, because uh, it means we can open up Magnemites and stuff. I don't know if Meowth Slash is as good in this generation as it is in Generation 1. given nickname to Meowth. Yes, we will uh, call Meowth. We're gonna call Meowth Quackening. I don't know where that idea came from to name it Quackening, but... Oh, we have to go up. I think this first guy is a sailor or something and has a fighting type, so 
we might be better off putting Gamble Man up front. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do away with the Quacks. Strictly because, uh, instead of them, like, costing channel points, you're instead deciding to use the Zero Bits option. So, hello Pokemon Kid, how are you doing today? Welcome. Oh, Wooper? What the heck? Uh, I guess we can go with Psybeam. It certainly doesn't have any bads or goods about it. Hey, Gamble Man at 27, doing the solid work. Oh, that was it? Alright, cool. Hello, Mom. What? Please don't tell me you bought a doll. Thanks. Useful item in the shop. Not a freaking doll. Thank the lords. Do I have a grass type? Um... Yeah, Thwippy's a grass type, but... Thwippy's not really gonna be in our party for very long. Anything that's usually use... Like, usually has a grass thing... I can usually use something else about it. I can either just overpower it through stats... Um, or I can use, like, something else. <laughs> so the only reason we're keeping Thwippy around is because it's a Cutmon, and it is currently the only grass type that I've got. I guess we could go fight Alan the schoolboy. He's not that far away. And he's got his Tangela. Um, right. Switch Rocky up front because I don't remember what comes up. We'll just run. Don't feel like fighting it right now. When we get to the other area, that'll be a better area to fight. Yes, are you a good trainer? Hello. Look at that Flaffy. Goodbye. Goodbye, Flaffy. About to use Psyduck. Uh, yeah, I guess... Flippy it is. It has Psychic, and it's a Poison type. So that's not a great option. So we'll go with Walter. And just slam it. I keep forgetting that Psyduck has Psychic moves available to it. And so it can do a serious number on my Pokemon. Yeah, and we won't be getting a Haunter until we get Fly, because that's going to take a while to get all the way back there. Alright, here is the next area that we're going to. We can actually put Whippy up front, I just don't know if it's going to be fast enough to deal with some of the stuff that we have. I don't know what's with you guys and telling me about your showers. It always happens. Do I have a Gyarados? I do not. Um, I do have a Magikarp. I opted to not go the Gyarados route because I had uh, the Quagsire and I figured I didn't really need to. Can't escape? What the heck? Get out of here with that can't escape nonsense. Alright, let's at least get into the town so that way we have a place to go to.
Yeah, whatever. Tell me about how you think it's sick, boohoo. Goodbye. <laughs> the rival in here, he could be cooler, but man. He gives these long-ass winded speeches. He can't just, like, show up and fight like Red does. Crystal uh, again a woman? Am I going to choose the lady when I get to Crystal? Probably. Probably. I think it's pretty cool giving the option. Or maybe it's cursed. Get out of here, Meowth. Nobody cares. You just switch into another thing. what I thought, Meowth. Get out of here. 30% <clears throat> chances at a Meowth, and that's why I needed to get out of the way early. Yo, I'll take it. I'll take it. Unexpected. But I'll, I'll, it's good for me. Milk Tank is definitely strong enough to, uh, to handle, I think, a hit or two. Yeah, that was a crit, so... Milk Tank could definitely take a tackle. Or not! Or Milk Tank can't take a tackle! Because I didn't think two critical hits in a row would happen. Disregard getting a milk tank. I guess, fuck that. <laughs> oh my god. Am I just cursed to not get good Pokemon here? Is this my curse? Forever cursed to just not have good good catches. This is gonna be a real close one in here. I I feel like I'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful this time around. Silver seems like it is not cutting me any slack. Maybe, maybe there's someone who threw their Game Boy in a graveyard and did go in the game and did chose the boy and helped everyone that was a boy and never a girl because the souls of one of the... What are you going on about? <laughs> Talking about sexist ghosts? <laughs> uh, Thwippy, let's see. So, if I remember correctly, we're gonna... I guess we're gonna have to try and force the Chincho gonna be weird. So let's go ahead and take a look at what routes we've got and how we can break everything. So Route 40, um, let's see what we have for Route 40. So, Route 40, Tentacool and Tentacruel. Krabby on the rods. The possibility of a Krabby on the rod. A star you only at night. Magikarp during the day. Corsola during the day. Ch 
Shincho. Yeah, we have to, we have to really, we have to do a bunch of stuff before we try and aim for the Chincho. There's a couple things that need to get done. I could test my luck. Yeah, that's possible. I could test my luck. But we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and increase our luck by cutting off some of the other things that I don't need. Ah, you faced it. Here's the good rod. Okay, so what we're gonna do is What does Olivine have versus the bay? What's the difference between HMs and a TMs? One is a hidden machine, one's a technical machine. Uh, a TM disappears after use, and an HM... Um, uh, and an HM can be used continuously. Olivine City... I don't need your slogans, I need your Pokemon. Alright, so... Good Rods... Krabby, Staryu, Magikarp, Corsola. So if we can kill off one here, one in Route 40, then we're pretty much stuck with either the Shelter or the other thing. Alright. Catch you later, Demon Pumpkin. Where's the old rod? Here we are. That's the old rod. We need the good rod. <sighs> Put this on our select function. Um, we will put... Yeah, Thwippy's up front, so that's good. Magikarp, we don't need that. Get out of here. Can't escape. Jesus Christ. Can't even run from a Magikarp. Alright, Krabby. That's a good start. We'll sleep powder it. Um, we'll hit it with the wrap. If we vine whip it, it'll explode, so we're not doing that. You've had only three school hours today? How come? Can I cut it? We'll just wrap it, just to be safe. Keep hitting it with the sleep powder. Okay, so Olivine and Bay are going to be different. So Krabby is in the Bay, or Krabby is in the city. Five out of six teachers. Hmm. Give a nickname to Krabby. Um. Lamp on. Alright, so that takes care of this. Um. Next is to. So, Krabby, Star, you won't be in there until night. Let me take a look at the bay. As in the port section. So, the port has tentacles, tentacruels, shelters, and chinchos. With shelter at a 10%, chincho at a 20%. 
and Tentacool at a 35% chance. So, what we're gonna need to do is come out here to Route 40. Pokemon gear. We're still in 40. Is this all Route 40? I think this is all Route 40. Okay. Unexpected. I guess a Tentacruel, it wouldn't be too bad an option. It's plant, but it's also poison. Hmm. I think it could take a vine. Hmm. Let's do a cut. A cut won't kill it, but I think it'll take it down enough. Ooh, why are those critical hit cuts? I don't like it. <laughs> okay, Route 40. Come on, you got this. Come on. I believe in you. There's not much else I can do to this thing. I could wrap it and possibly knock it out. So I guess we're just going to have to keep throwing balls at it. Alright. Uh, so Tentacruel is caught for Route 40. I guess we'll name this thing, um... We'll name it Chicken Tie. You okay back there? Alright, next is we take our chances and go see what we can get out of the port. And hopefully we don't continue getting shelters as we have every time we've attempted this. This is not a... <laughs> This is not a tradition I would like to continue. If we can get a Chincho, that would be great. A Chincho will take the place for our electric type. Spark's not necessarily strong, but it'll do what it needs to do. Let's go get some more balls first, because I feel like I'm going to need them. Oh, not that many. Jeez. Um, let's also buy super potions while we're here. Six super potions ought to do it. You're not gonna need too much else.
Oh, Todd the Camper. Howdy. Want a battle? That's all the way out there, so... We'll probably go deal with them after we get Fly. Did I heal? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Chincho, 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 Chincho! Chincho! Not a Chincho. That's a Magikarp. Chincho, Chincho, Chincho! Fingers crossed for the Chincho. Give me that big old Chincho. Show me that electric water Pokemon. Now we're at night time. Alright. I mean, it's still the same rates for Chincho, but... I guess we'll just go back to this tiny spot. Chincho... Chincho, my boy, Chincho! That's a Magikarp. Get out of here. Come on, Chincho. Let's go, Chincho. Let's go, Chincho. Let's go, Chincho. Motherfuck! Why?! WHAT IS WRONG WITH THIS GAME?! <laughs> WHY DOES IT CONTINUE TO DO THIS?! EVERY TIME! EVERY TIME IT DOES THIS! Have you guys noticed that there was only a single time that we've been able to get ourselves a Chincho, and every other time has been a goddamn shelter? I'm so tired of the 10% shelter beating up the higher percentage Chincho. Every fucking time. Yeah, whatever. Give a nickname to Shelter. I hate Clam. <sighs> whatever. Get out of here. Hold on, let me see how the map looks at it, because if the map looks at it differently, then... Is it all considered Olivine City? That's considered the lighthouse? Ah, okay, disregard. Hello, Egg Dog. I just realized that the city itself is considered... Or the bay is considered part of the city, so... I have to go release my shelter real quick, because I thought that it was different sections, but it's not. 
So that means now if a shelter pops up, I will be forced to go ahead and, uh... Oh. What item does it have on it? Has a pearl on it? God damn it. Alright, goodbye, shelter. Alright. We're gonna have to go across the ocean to fight what's-his-name. But it's gonna be a bunch of big grind. I don't really know what to pull out or to use at this point. I guess Rocky will be our best thing for right now. We'll, we'll use Rocky. It's not a great option, but... Since we lost, since we lost our starter anyway. <clears throat> Fun fact, if you completed the Pokédex for Black 2, White 2, you get access to a place where you can get a free shiny. That is pretty cool. Hey! Welcome, Alan! Nice to see you. I'm doing all right. Hello, Jax. How are you doing? Welcome back. <sighs> well, I'm kind of at this weird position where I lost my starter to Morty um, due to the same bullshit that happened in Crystal. But luckily, I was prepared with Gamble Man. Um, so I have my my Kadabra there to, to seal the deal. Um... I have my Graveler, which I don't really need. I have Walter, who is supposed to go ahead and replace Graveler, but until I hit 36, it's not going to do that. Um... When did you start streaming in general? Um, I think, like, I did... Yeah, I did streaming, like, a while ago, here or there. I mean, I streamed while I was still active duty and stuff like that. Um, so, I don't know. I've had streams on my page for here and there. My channel is, I think, just a little bit older than Markiplier's channel. Um, yeah, no, by a couple months. Alright, well, disregard that fun fact that I used to go ahead and use. It's no longer viable. Um, so, I've been streaming for a while. Like, actively streaming? Probably about three years ago, I think, was when I actively started doing streams. Maybe two and a half, something like that. But, yeah, I've had my channel for a while. I haven't really actively done a lot of streams until recently. Basically, you work for streamers. Do you like to... S no, oh, no. No thanks, not interested. I appreciate you coming to my channel to come solicit to me, but no thanks. Another fun fact, the trainer we are playing as in red and blue is actually red himself. Yep, that I am aware of. That's why when you go and play in gold and silver, it's technically you. But in red and blue, that's not actually the canon red. The canon red is the one from yellow version. So technically, yellow version is the actual canon red. Ah, uh, too bad I didn't get the Magnemite. That would have been so nice. To have another Magnemite, now that I realize how freaking great those things are. Ugh. It's so unfortunate. I think we're gonna have to keep Geo... We're gonna have to keep our uh, Geodude around until we finish um, Rocket Hideout. 
And I think after that will be when we get the official replacement for it. Take it out and put something else in. Though I don't even know what I would replace it with. If we get a giraffe rig, that would be a pretty good replacement. Just because bite and crunch. It's not a stab move, but it definitely covers the Dark Mom that I need. Wabafet would be a fantastic, like, late game party edition. Because Wabafet is an absolute goat that I just learned. You think you should start streaming in three years? Hell, I mean, what's stopping you from streaming right now? I like to go ahead and say that the best time to start something is immediately. If you are always thinking about, like, starting something tomorrow, you never get around to it. Alright, that should be good for that. We'll switch out to... I don't think Whippy is going to be great. We'll have Walter do its thing. My Wooper. Well, it's a Quagsire now, but... <laughs> Why do you say it's perfect? I would have had a milk tank here, but I'm so mad that it freaking got knocked out. That was such an upsetting thing because it definitely took the first two and then somehow it got a crit and it died. <laughs> that was maddening. My guy Greg, is he still alive? Well, I gotta tell you, um... I'm sorry, but Greg is not still alive. Also, Takedown, I'm pretty sure that uh, Simone named named Greg, Greg, as I have it written here. But no, Greg actually just got knocked out in, uh, just got knocked out in, uh, in Morty's gym fight by a Shadow Ball. It was an unfortunate thing. It definitely was pretty sad, but Luckily, I had the Quagsire, so it kind of covers out my water types. Deciding on what content you want to do, there's so many options of games you want to play on stream. Yeah, you gotta kind of find your crowd, I think. Um, one of the things that I always feel is chasing a trend can absolutely get you stuff, but like... I don't know. I've, I've never been one to chase a trend. I feel like if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do something because I want to. I have no idea what would even be a good game to begin with. Man, if I knew what the big games people would want to see to begin with, you think I'd be doing this? <laughs> Probably. Because, you know, that's what I'm about, is doing these ridiculous challenges, so... I would say my only real suggestion is don't go down the Fortnite route. Yes, it is possible to go ahead and grow your channel off of Fortnite, but the second you stop doing... <laughs> what a weird-looking Poochiena! <laughs> ah, yes, it sure is a weird-looking Poochiena. We'll just slam it. Honestly, like... Playing with Quagsire has been a very fun, has been a very fun playthrough. I have really enjoyed this mod way more than I thought I would. And I'm just, I'm so excited to get Wabafet back on my team, like, super late game. Because I just didn't realize how strong Wabafet was. Imagine you encounter Shiny. Yeah, if we encounter Shiny, I mean, I'll probably end up catching it just because I'll put it in a box. Um, it's not going to get used, uh, but I think people like catching Shinies, so 
a shiny will find its way into the box even if we don't even if we don't end up using it. Damn, all them impostas. All right, let's uh, just slam this thing. Um, it wouldn't be the first time I've encountered a shiny while just being out grinding either. Um, we caught a shiny Krabby, I think, last time we were in Silver while we were out grinding for, like, other stuff. I was like, okay, let's go fishing, and then suddenly shiny Krabby pops up out of nowhere. It was... Was fate. Yeah. No, many of those have a thing called the shiny claws. They're allowed to catch, use them in encounters. Oh, I'm sure they do. I'm I'm quite aware of the shiny claws, but I don't believe in the shiny claws. I feel like it's just another reason to go ahead and give yourself access to another Pokemon. It really kills the point of having the one encounter rule if you're just going to go ahead and create a claws to go around it. The duplicate rule, I can understand because it, the duplicate rule makes perfect sense, because otherwise everybody would just fill their team with Magikarps, level them all up to Gyarados, and there would be no reason... That's it, just a puppy dog cringing in fear. There would be no reason to have... It's very rare to get shinies since they don't exist... Since shiny charms don't exist... Yeah, it's like an 8,000, 1 in 8,000 such. Um, I think the last time we went through Silver, we caught a shiny Nidoran and a shiny Krabby um, in the same playthrough, so uh, that was really weird. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, otherwise, the duplicate rule would just allow people to catch Magikarp on every route, and then they would just have a team of Gyarados, and it would completely defeat the point of the challenge. So, duplicate rule makes sense. Shiny rule, I feel like, is just another way for somebody to go ahead and get it. So, if I catch a shiny, I'll catch a shiny, but it'll get put in a box because we've already had our encounter. If I naturally catch a shiny on my first encounter, uh, then yeah, it'll totally get used in the party. But if I catch it outside of my first encounter, it's just going to go in a box. Damn, this Tauros gives Buku XP. Plus, before, like, Gen 6, the chances... Yeah, it won in 8,000 compared to the 4,000. Yep. Yep. Yep, so, honestly, the two catches we had in Silver last time we came through were astronomically improbable. The fact that we had both a Nidoran and a Krabby was pretty crazy. You killed a Shiny once, and it was a Shiny Bagan? I thought you said a Shiny Bagel for half a second. <laughs> Uh, Walter's so good once it gets its, like, once it gets Earthquake, Walter's gonna, like, dominate. Alright, Gamble Man, you go up front. I don't know if Gamble Man's gonna do great out here, but... Imagine if you kept failing this challenge so much so that Pokemon Zaw's released and you have to get it added. Well, Zaw isn't really considered, it isn't considered mainline. No, uh, Legends, Legends games, it is a Legends game. It's the same thing as if I were to go ahead and include, if I were to include Pokemon Dungeon. Legends is just a spinoff. Regardless of what the Pokemon company says, the Pokemon company says Pikachu Go and Eevee Go are mainline games. And we all know that's just a giant cash grab. The same thing with the Legend games. Regardless of how good the Legends games are, I can't consider them mainline. They are they are definitely spin-offs. A mainline game would consist of the standard formula that they did. Even if they mixed up the game, it would still have to be like a mainline game. And Arceus 
regardless of what they say, it is not mainline. It's, it's, it's mainline if you want to go ahead and spend more money on it, to go ahead and say, hey, I did it. But, however, however other people say it, ugh, yeah, Za and Arceus are not, are not mainline, they're spin-offs. Otherwise, why am I not including Pokemon Dungeon? Fuck, Arceus? Yeah, Arceus, Arceus. Okay, well, Arceus it is. You know, because of the way, because of the rules of how things are done, of how letters are done in, you know, English, it wouldn't necessarily be Arceus, it would be Arceus, based on how the rules of, of phonetic speech works. I'm putting the emphasis on the C, where the C would be an S sound based off of the... Arceus. Yeah, but E-U-S would be Eus. Arceus. It's Arcus, you uncultured fool. <laughs> Arcus. <laughs> uh, yep, that's me. You know, let's just call it Koosh. Listen, Pokemon Pokemon Legends Koosh Ball is um That's what it is. Your worst ever shiny fail was a shiny Lugia. And you fucking had to sit in the corner for 20 minutes. Um Outside of a, a shiny Celebi, I don't think I've ever seen another shiny legendary before. The dog is demented. No one's talking, but his mouth moves. <laughs> that's that's what that's what I do. Nothing comes I say a whole bunch of nothing, and yet stuff comes out. So the goal is to get everybody to roughly about 30. Um, we should be able to kind of slap our way through a lot of the fights that are upcoming here in Chuck's dungeon. My issue is with um, my issue is with Chuck's Polyrath. That's the only thing I can see giving me a serious trouble. That Polyrath and Dynamic Punch is scary. Very scary. Because if it manages to hit that Dynamic Punch, it's pretty much over. For whatever's in front of it. Um, I think, like, Zukaka Field did a great job when we came through last time. Been playing Pokemon for maybe like three years, and a lot of the newer gens when shinies were adjusted, and you've still never caught a shiny? Uh, I mean, I've, I've had, I think, over the course of my playthrough, I think I've had maybe a few shinies. Maybe, maybe I can count the number of shiny I've had on two hands total. Um, let's see. Even back when, I think shiny Celebi, uh, was my first ever shiny. Um, let's see. I've caught a couple shinies in black and white. Obviously, in these playthroughs, I've had three shinies total. So, that brings us to, like, five. Um... Maybe I've had a shiny here or there in crystal or gold and silver back in the day, but yeah, 
I, I've had very minimal amounts of shinies. And it's not like I, I don't go looking for shinies either. I'm not, I never shiny grind. Not once have I found myself thinking, ah, I need to go grind for a shine. Uh, shiny celery? No, a celebi. You know, the time traveling grass Pokemon from Gold and Silver. Yeah, like, when it came through as an event Pokemon, it was actually shiny for me. Still more than me? Listen, a star will shine upon you one day, and you shall be given the luck to catch yourself a shiny. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be like a shiny Pidgey. To, to grace you and welcome you to the community of shinies. <laughs> nah, its name is Celery. Cool. We'll side beam this out. Oh shit, it's at 31. <laughs> I'm over here just grinding to the fucking moon right now, not even thinking about it. <laughs> Alright, um, Rocky, Gentleman's. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Rocky is pretty much going to be useless in this next gym. From here on out, Rocky is pretty useless. Um, you do like Pidgey Shiny? I've never seen a Shiny Pidgey. I have no idea what it looks like. Pokemon Silver and Gold Remakes, there's an event to get a Selby. You can also find Koosh. Ah, that's pretty cool. Wait a second, hold on. How do you fucking how do you get how do you get the Koosh Ball in Heart Gold and Soul Silver? What? That's a thing? That's weird. I mean, let me take a look at when they they came out in their release order. I guess they would fall in that category, wouldn't they? Yeah, Heart Gold and Soul Silver came out after Pearl and Platinum, so I it makes sense, I suppose. You won't get to keep uh, Kenya if you give it to the trainer. Um, yeah, but that's fine. I'm not really worried about keeping Kenya or not. Like, I don't honestly need Nightmare. Kenya is here for fly. That's that's its sole purpose in life is fly. Brain damage. I just don't know what to put in here. I have some Pokemon, but I should probably put in something viable in my team rather than just having a placeholder. Because currently I only have three Pokemon that are functional. But there's not really good Pokemon that I have in my team. Like. Uh, let's see, Chicken Tie, the Tentacruel, uh, Lampon, Quackening, Frankly, Vagabond, Jehoshaphat, Thievery, uh, Yurikuti, and Booger, and then Danger Nude. Like, that's, that's about, that's about all I have. I don't have the greatest of captures this time around. Maybe Chicken Tie could work pretty well. But then I come across the point where my team is taken out by one Pikachu, as always. You like Doduo? Um, I don't even think that I've had a Doduo. I think I've had a Doduo once. And that was way back when in... I think the second time around when we lost all of our flyers. And the only flyer we had available to us was a Doduo. <laughs> So, yeah, I just, I don't know. There's no good thing to stick in here. I don't even know if, like, I don't even know if Critical Hit Persian is still a thing. Hell, I don't even know what freaking Meowth learns. Let me see its Gen 2 learn set. I don't even, I don't even know what it has access to. It certainly doesn't learn Crunch. Faint Attack, Bite, Payday, Fury Swipes, Slash at 46, and that's not even... That's assuming it stays Meowth rather than going to Persian. Which would 
push Slash even further. There's a freaking Kush event that was uh, just fucking Google image and then it turned into an egg. You forgot the whole event, so I don't know. <laughs> I was really hoping for a Chincho, but Chincho is now a dream. By the time we get a Chincho, it's going to be when I go back to, uh, to what's it called? To my hometown. And then we're going to have to hope for a Chincho versus whatever else pops out. Danger Nude could be the only other thing that I could think of. But, yeah, at the moment, there's, there's not really, not really good Pokemon here. I just have whatever I've got. My main three fighters. I don't know if it's the same back then, but Poison does resist fighting these days. Uh, let's see. Look at the good old chart. So, Poison. Poison, Poison, Poison. Let's see. Fighting is weak against Poison. So, yeah, I mean, and then Grass, I believe, is also weak to... Well, fighting is neutral for grass, so... So yeah, I mean, Tentacruel could be a good option to go ahead and deal with it. Uh, but I feel like Dynamic Punch would do a serious number on it. Yeah, Thwippy's up front. Cool. Especially any type of, like, oh, this guy has, like, a Growlithe or something for his first thing, so we're gonna throw, uh, what do you even have for moves? Constrict Acid, not even a water move to speak of. Zubat might be a good addition to the seams. Sure, you can't get a Crobat. Uh, it'd be possible to get a Crobat, just takes a long time, and Crobat's nowhere near as strong as it is. Uh, Crobat's nowhere near as strong as it is in other games. I think in Fire Red, Leaf Green, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, it's much better. But in here, it's just meh. <laughs> it, it has the speed, but that's about all it's got. Um, let me go ahead and give Chicken Tie Surf. As we do with all of our Watermons. Um, we'll get rid of Constrict. Constrict's alright, but... Oh, Knocked Owl, of course. Yes, that's what I think of when I think of these dudes. Cool. Let me go wake this damn thing up. 
because we used up all of our awakenings in the last gym. And we don't have very much money, so I'm not gonna go out and buy some awakenings for like two things. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. We're going to a fight right now. Going to a fight right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, good men of the sea, whatever. Whip it. Earth. I lose. Oh, Thwippy's evolving. Yeah. Do it, Thwip. Jesus Christ. Is that how you really feel? Fight or get splashed. Maybe I should make those Magikarp larger. You're pretty tough. Can I get the phone number? Yeah, here you go. Dun, 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 dun. He's pretty. He's pretty apt to go ahead and send me. A, this is gonna be bird types. So. <clears throat> huh. Time for the power menace. Powder menace. Oh no. Listen, I don't know what cocaine has to do with anything. There it is. Alright, who's next up on the list? <clears throat> this old guy... Bullshit's Walter up front. I traveled all around the world with my mom. Whatever, surf it. Get out of here. Yeah, Victory Bell gets a lot of powder moves. Um, I think we passed the powder move stage. We passed because I had Poison Powder, Stun, and Sleep. So I think we're already past a lot of the, uh, the powder stages. Yeah, it doesn't have very many great moves to it either, but it does have some. I mean, I went for Sleep Powder. It's my Cut Mon. That's basically what it's used for. It's just Cut. I don't really care for it other otherwise. Yeah, whatever. Sick Pokemon, shut up. Get your Meryl out of here. You're not even going to be good until a few generations from now. Alright, Thwippy, switch you up front. Because I'm pretty sure that this guy coming up has... What's his... Yeah, poly, poly whirls. And just cut, because cut strong. Sleep Powder is always a help. Yeah, I feel like Sleep Powder is a lot better. Unless you're going for, like, Confuse Ray Stun. Um, I can't see anything being better than, than Sleep Powder. Poison Powder is alright, but, like, it's just tick damage. Um, Toxic is great if you're going to go ahead and do Constrict Restrict or stop them from moving in general. I think, uh, I think Toxic Protect, Detect, Endure is probably one of the nastiest combos I've ever seen. You look like you're from the 90s. Man, it's like I'm from the 90s. <laughs> you look I'm, I'm finally old enough to be the way I wanted to be. 
Yeah, you look like you're about to go ahead and, and stick your tongue out and be like, oh my, nah. oh my god, I do look like the girls I looked up to when I was a kid. Oh no. Uh. I became the person I wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> You can finally be that. Adult buddy! You can finally be that adult skater girl. All right, whatever. Sick Pokemon. Yeah, whatever, Jasmine. Get out of here. I don't care about your sick Pokemon. Listen, if I could take that thing and use it on my party, I'd care, but I don't. Now we gotta go across the ocean. Go get our... Go get our secret potion. Doesn't Shelter have a one-hit... KO move? I thought that it did. Ooh, are we gonna go for, are we gonna go for the dugong again? Is that gonna be a, is that gonna be our choice? Ugh. Go ahead and get ourselves a new dugong. Another orcs. Ooh. Might be a good option. There's no real good way to cross this water. Like, none of my Pokemon are fantastic to deal with this. Thwippy is not very fast, so it's not going to be running from very much. I could go ahead and switch Gamble Man to Thunder Punch, but I think I'm going to leave it as Fire Punch. We're not gonna cross the ocean on full speed. We're gonna we're gonna take our time and look at stuff. Having no electric type, like, really grinds me. I will say they are a solid they are a solid, like, source of XP, if you're willing to put in the effort to, uh, to fight all the tentacle and stuff, you can get some really good XP from them. avoid fighting anything we can out here. Maybe if we need to later for some XP we can do it. best bet would be to go ahead and fish for a crabby or something off of the shoreline. Since it's nighttime, we might have access to Tentac or to Staryu's, which would be a pretty good catch.
since we're not going to get the Shuckle here, um, I think going for the Star U might be a better option. We don't have to worry about that count counting against our encounter rates. Did that thing tackle me? What the heck is going on? You're not supposed to be able to fight back. <clears throat> Trying to learn acid. Nope. It's, it's okay, but... There it is. There's our boy, Staryu. Hit it with the wrap. Start up the damage. Have you ever played a game from the uh, Soulsborne? I sure have. I've actually played, uh, I've played a lot of those Soulsborne games from, uh, back before, back before those were a thing. I've played all the way from Demon Souls forward, and, uh, I used to play Armored Core before they were known for Souls games. So yeah, I've, uh, I've been with the FromSoft for, uh, for a while playing a lot of their stuff. Ooh, solid crit. Let's go ahead and get get that in the bowl. I guess Star You could be a decent option. It's pure water. It's not water psychic, I believe, until it evolves. And even then, I, I mean... Recovery could be okay. Hold on, let me... I forgot to write down shelter. Um, this is... Where is this place? Where is this place? I don't remember the name of this city that I'm in. Give it a nickname. Dang. What about Bloodborne? Highly recommend. Yep. Um, I have played Demon Souls, Dark Souls 1 through 3, Bloodborne... Um, Sekiro, um, Elden Ring. I have played all of their stuff. I think they're 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 always pretty on point with their gameplay. Um, I also like some odd ones like Remnant, uh, which I really enjoyed the gameplay of Remnant. I really like the range style that Remnant offers, um, versus forcing you into combat and really having to think about how much ammo you have available to you, um, and it's more resource-intensive than I feel the other ones are. Yeah. So, I, I enjoy Souls-like games. We're gonna call this thing Ramrod. All right, cool. Macho bullies, if I stick around, they might come after me. Here's some advice Jim Leader uses fighting types. 
Could fan it with psychics, wipe right? before they use their physical strength. Ah, yeah. Nerds! <laughs> Let me go ahead and, uh, I don't care about your shuckle. Hello, Alan the schoolboy. I know you want to fight. I know you want to fight, yes. Secret potion added. It's a tad too strong. Uh, which do you prefer, a mana system or a limited cast system? Um, I've played with both. So, I think a mana system can be abusable. I think a limited cast system, the way that uh, Final Fantasy VIII had it, was a really good idea. I like the mana junction. Oh, in, in Dark Souls? Um... It depends. There are some moves that I feel like are abusable on both fronts. If you have a limited casting system, like insert uh, limit for X number of casts, it really stops the person from abusing it, but you really have to give a player their, um, their money's worth if they're only going to be able to use it so many times. Uh, if you have a mana system, I feel like mana can go ahead and come back and you can consistently do it, but I feel like you should really have a weaker spell overall than a spell that can only, only be used so many times. Um... I'd say a limited spell, limited casting system is better overall. Because you would really have to think and time and strategize when to use your spells versus just being able to use your spells and either spam into them or knowing that if you miss a spell you're going to be able to recast it again as a backup you know a spell should be meaningful it should have a reason to be cast if you're using your spell and suddenly you miss with it and you have a limited cast it should be a devastating thing it should be like oh shit i have to rework my whole strategy around it Versus a mana system where either you're consistently getting mana back and it kind of falls back. Or you're able to go ahead and recover from casting a spell and completely whiffing it. So I think they both have their benefits, but I prefer limited casting. It does force you to be a little more melee or to rely on other systems a lot more. But I think a good caster can get around that by just understanding the limits of their casting. Alright, we should be able to slap through most of this, I think. We'll go with Psybeam. The only thing I have to worry about is, like, Mock Punch, but I think that's for what's-his-name for, uh, the gym leader and not this. Or not the gym leader, the Elite Four. Who do we give strength to? Good question. Can I teach strength to Kenya? No. Either Walter or Rocky. No, let's teach it to Walter, um, because then we can get rid of the inconsistent slam and teach strength instead. Because the only thing I'm really going to need for it... Oh, but then I... Uh, no, Water Gun and Surf will get rid of... Let me take a look at what we have. So, if we get rid of slam now, replace it with physical strength. That means we'll need to go ahead and get rid of Water Gun to replace it with Earthquake. So yeah, let's do that. Beam. Uh, 
there's no good way around this. It's either do it or don't do it, so I may as well go into it immediately. Um, Thwippy would be good, but it's not strong enough, honestly, to handle it, so I think Gamble Man is just the way to go. Thank God it didn't get anything off, because if that would have hit me at all, and losing Gamble Man would have been a massive problem. So let's use Fly here, take this too. Dynamic Punch. Wow, I enjoyed battling you, but a loss is a loss. Now let me go talk to your wife, my bud. You crossed the sea? Yeah, here you go. Thanks for the fly. Cool. But teach us to Kenya. That's literally the whole reason we needed Kenya. So, there is a thing that I need to do here, which is go to... We're gonna go to Olivine. I don't care so much about dropping off the medicine. Let's see. We still have eight great balls, that's good. Let me see what Newbark. I believe Newbark has a Chincho access, so we may go to Newbark to get our Chincho. Uh Power Within is the best spell in Dark Souls 1 changed my mind. Oh, I don't have my uh I've got no argument there. Um, I think... I was never a big spellcaster in DS1. Um, hell, I was never a big spellcaster in general. Spells were never a big, big thing for me as a, as a Dark Souls player. I always felt that a lot of spells were underpowered. Faith was really the way to go for a while there, and... Even then, Faith wasn't really that strong. Faith could definitely be overpowered because of a lot of regen stuff, but... Yeah, I never really... Never really was a spellcaster. Never cared much for it. Um, let's see... New Bark Town. Now, you want to talk about things of change my mind. The Flamberge is one of the greatest great swords in in Dark Souls. Change my mind. <laughs> That's what I feel. Shall sight thee with sunlight spear? <laughs> um, I think the Flamberge is like one of the best weapons in that game. It has it's got a fantastic move set that's different than any other two-hander. Um, it usually has a nice bleed buildup, or status buildup that no one really sees coming. Um, and its alternate heavy attack moveset has a slight delay compared to the rest of other great swords. So when people go in for a parry, they're e either a little too late or they're a little too early, and the parry ends up missing. Flamberge's moveset is just slightly so different it tears through most people. Alright, Pokemon Gen 2. Um, let's see, we have... Good Rod, Shelter, Magikarp, 20% Chincho, which means guaranteed Chincho, because we have a Tentacruel, 
which cuts out Tentacle. We have a Shelter, and we have a Magikarp, so Chincho it is. Let's go get us a Chincho. <laughs> Put Thwippy up front here. I'm in here. I still prefer uh, non curse great sword of of Atorius. I get ya. It's a good weapon. Um, you know what I've always think is the funniest builds? Double shielders make me cackle. <laughs> it's because their build is so fucking weird, but, like, I give them the power. I give them, like, 100% props for double shielding. It's such a weird build that just, it really gives me a small warm feeling in my heart when I see somebody roll out with double shields. Hey, look at that. Easy peasy, beautiful cover. Let's hit it with the sleep. <clears throat> hit it with the wrap. I hate how rap rap just completely misses sometimes. Should go into the orange. Alright, cool. Don't wake up, Chincho. You wish Quick Balls existed? It's okay, we got the Lure Ball. That's the good one, right? Alright, so New Bark gives us Chincho, which, with the Chinch, we've got our good electric type finally. It's not great, but it's electric. Give a nickname to Chincho. We're gonna name it Boogie Woogie. Sent to Bill's PC, more like put it in my damn inventory. Alright. Fly up to... Olivine. <clears throat> we can take out our, uh... We can deposit our Tentacruel, who we really don't need. We're gonna withdraw Boogie Woogie. Dive balls are pretty much uh, useless. Hey, you with a net. Net ball can do better. I have no idea what a lot of those new balls are. Because that's, that's in future games that I haven't even touched yet. Or maybe I just don't remember. If it was in black and white, I certainly don't recall them. Right, Chin Cho, my boy. We're not buying, we're selling. Sell the revive. Um, rare candies we can hold on to. Sell the X attack, because we're not really using it. Bitterberry is for confusion. Sell the Everstone, because I don't think there's anything that's going to need an Everstone. Attract, we're never going to use, so we can sell it. Headbutt's fine. Dynamic Punch. I don't know if we're, what we're going to use Headbutt for. Um, I think Seal has Headbutt as its move to begin with, and that's going to probably be our Ice-type. 
I think it's very unfortunate how, like, electric... ...unfriendly our team is. Because Boogie Woogie is great because it is electric type. Um, dive balls are a three times catch rate on anything caught while fishing. Net balls have a 3.5. Any bug or water type? Huh. Yeah, I, I can see what you mean. Dive balls seem a little more specific when you can just go for the overall net. Rocky is going to be terrible at everything going forward. So Rocky really needs a replacement, but we don't have a good one right now. Not until we get a, uh, a seal. And we won't get a seal until we hit Lake of Rage and get, uh, get Waterfall. So we'd have to finish Rocket Hideout before we can get rid of Rocky. So it'll stick around for the electrodes, and that'll be that. Rocky goes bye-bye at Team Rocket. <laughs> that it does. They share a they share a name for a thing. Rocky works for them. You think he's a double agent? Will this medicine cure Amphi? Here you go. Yeah, cool. It flashes. I'll return to the gym. Whatever. Can I throw my ball and catch this thing? That's all I care about. If I could catch that Amphros, I wouldn't give much of a damn. I think we're gonna have to go ahead and grind up Boogie Woogie anyway. I wanna probably do that before I hit this gym. So. Alright, guys. I'm gonna call it for today. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed today's show. We'll be back again tomorrow, as always. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, like, sub, share, follow, all of that good stuff helps the channel grow. Tell your friends so they're in the know. You know, hit that notification bell. All of that. Um, no big announcements or anything. I may have to take off, like, at some point. I'll, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but I should be fine otherwise. Wait. Alright, I'm, I'm standing by, even though I'm about to go ahead and go off. Ground is super effective against steel. Uh, yeah, that it is. So, I mean, that's what Walter's pretty much here for. We have Dig right now. Rocky might be good in there, yeah, but the problem is that Steel is very effective against Rock, and it only has access to Magnitude right now, and that Rock type is going to get thrashed by that Steel type. So Iron Tail will just cut it apart. Even if it can go ahead and get the Magnitude off, Iron Tail will tear it to pieces. So Rocky very, very well may get knocked out. Whereas Walter here um, has access to Dig and Surf as a backup, but that Dig itself is going to do a lot, and that Iron Tail isn't going to knock the shit out of it. So Walter's, Walter's our star for this one. Or I can just always go with Gamble Man. Uh, if worse comes to worse, though, Gamble Man with Fire Punch. That's, that's usually my go-to. Um, that's how I dealt with it the first time, was just fire punching it down with the Kadabra in the other, the other versions when I went through the first time. So, there's always a backup. My team, my team very much consists of, uh, a lot of coverage. 
I usually have at least two ways to deal with any given Pokemon uh, in my team. Just hope they don't have Earthquake. Uh, I believe that it doesn't have access to Earthquake, and it's more prone to Iron Tail than it is anything else. Double damage if a uh, Pokemon digs. Um, I don't believe it does. I'm pretty sure Jasmine does not have access to it. Let me just take a look, but I am almost 100% certain... Yeah, so in Gold and Silver, there's Iron Tail, Rock Throw, Sunny Day, and Screech. So they are considered Steel and Ground, so I could always use Water as a backup and just surf my way through it. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's more than fine. It'll work. But yeah, anyway guys... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off for today. You guys have a great night, and, uh, until I see you all again... Jesus Christ, Todd the Camper, please get away. Until I see you all again tomorrow, you guys stay golden. Catch you later.